All right. How you doing? Welcome back to Pinoy News. Thank you, girl, for watching the video. It's appreciated. Thank you for coming by. Today, I bring you a story, all right? And I think it's important that I stand here and bring you stories that are not just up to date, but what's going on in the future. The future, the future. Because what happens in the future is being planned right now. FedEx just got kicked out of Amazon's carrier group, which means that they're no longer going to be carrying Amazon freight. Um, basically, what it was is that FedEx was on time 90% of the time. Industry average is 91% of the time. And Amazon's on time 93% of the time with their deliveries. So FedEx being 3% lower than Am being 3% lower than, you know, I mean, the regular Amazon carriers, a bit of an issue for Amazon as far as their performance is concerned. And I, I looked it up. I looked, I looked up Amazon trucking and I come across this article from October 10th. They said, this is just another piece of the puzzle. Amazon is now rolling out branded trucks in its latest move to become a full fledged trucking company right? Amazon is rolling out a fleet of branded truck tractors. Since 2015, Amazon has used branded trailers. Volvo and Kenworth are manufacturing the trucks. Experts told Business Insiders that it was a sign Amazon might start directly employing truck drivers, a move, a move from contracting with independent truck drivers and small companies. They don't just use small companies. Like, uh, I've ran them freight with jb hunt for amazon all over the place for years um swift runs them uh dart runs them but it's mostly stuff that goes from like amazon warehouse to amazon warehouse so you know with that being said amazon's rolling out a fleet of branded truck tractors its latest moves to become a full fledged logistics company ah uh, logistics anybody don't know what logistics is Yo, look, that's, this is kind of my motif. That's my MO. Business Insider has learned Volvo and Kenwork are manufacturing the trailers. It is not known how many trucks are being made or when they'll be released. But across the country, truckers said that they spotted these tractors at Volvo and Kenworth. The tractor is what's known as day cabs rather than sleeper cabs, um, which means that it doesn't have a bed in the back. So, like, you're going to have to make it home every day. Right. Um, indicating that the drivers won't uh, won't sleep there. So the trucks will be used for distances 400 miles or shorter. That's 300 miles or shorter. It's basically what you can run safely. You have an 11 hour day, um, you know, give an hour for traffic and having to move around people's yards and stuff. And I mean, kind of puts you down to about, you know, I mean, being able to run about 300 miles one way, 300 miles back. You know, I mean, that puts you at, at 10 hours on the road at 60 miles an hour. SJ Consulting Group's principal consultant, Satish Jindal, said, Amazon confirmed the news and refer uh, reference an April 15 video posted on Twitter by Dave Clark, Amazon's senior vice president of operations. The video shows a Volvo and, a Volvo and Kenworth tractors with Amazon branded trailers. A Kenworth spokesperson declined to comment. Volvo confirmed to Business Insider that Ammo is a Volvo truck's customer. Amazon has signaled its interest to become a logistics giant in a span of several years. A retailer has amassed dozens of cargo jets, about 10,000 truck trailers, a network of ocean freighters, and thousands of last mile delivery vans. Most recently, Amazon announced a massive order of 100,000 electric delivery vans in September. They've already got branded airplanes. They got last mile delivery network that's grown. They got branded trailers. One of only thing that's left is tractors. The founder of the consulting firm Logistic Trends and Insights told Business Insider, this is just another piece of the puzzle. Many experts say Amazon is building up a network that could someday compete with UPS or FedEx. It appears likely that Amazon will move to a broader package delivery uh, offering in the U.S. over time which remains a uh, meaningful long-term risk for UPS and FedEx. The UPS told an analyst, uh, Thomas Waditz, wrote in, uh, wrote in an analyst note earlier this year, since 2015, Amazon has used branded trailers to move goods nationwide. Those trailers are attached to a tractor or another trucking company or an independent truck driver. So, <sighs> 10,000 truck trailers at the moment, right? Um, 10,000, uh, basically, they're 53-foot vans. That are moving around the moving around the nation's roads at the moment. Um, I'm gonna tell you like this: uh, some of the biggest carriers. I'll give you the numbers of how many trailers or how many tractors they have. Uh, the number one has 18,000 tractors, uh, which is Swift Knight. Those are actually two different companies that combined. Uh, it was uh, Swift Transport out of Arkansas and uh, Knight Transportation. I forget where actually they came from. They actually combined recently in the past like five or six years. 
And then you have JV Hunt comes in number two, and they only have 12,000 tractors. So if they order 10,000 tractors, they're immediately put in at like number three in the nation for amount of equipment on the road. This is a very, very big thing. And the fact that they just threw uh, FedEx out, FedEx has been having a lot of problems recently. And I wouldn't expect them to stay in the game too much longer. Just being perfectly real with you. Um, I know UPS is the union one, and it seems like UPS would be the one that ends up getting, you know, I mean, ends up with the major problems, but that's not the situation. The reality is, is that I think FedEx is the one who's going to end up having the problems. Because UPS has been using the union to actually keep down workers' wages. Like, I think their starting wage is still only 11 or $12 an hour for their package people in their actual warehouses. Whereas FedEx is 13 14 15 16 depending on where they are. I remember working for UPS and it was eight fifty an hour back in like 2003, 2002, something like that. And it was like that up until like 2009. So UPS actually uses the union to keep wages down and control costs, whereas FedEx doesn't have this, you know, I mean, ability to do so. They have to pay workers market value. So FedEx is actually having more problems than UPS is. And anytime you talk to FedEx drivers, it's a just constant complaint. And their drivers on a regular basis work on the docks, which is bananas. Like, <laughs> like drivers aren't dock workers, but FedEx expects them to be so. So does these places like Yellow which is a mother company that's in massive amounts of trouble on a regular basis. So with that being said, I wanted to bring y'all the story. I thought it was important. I think it's something that we should all be keeping an eye on about what's going on with Amazon. Um, this is actually dangerous to, um, you know, I mean, just the trucking industry as a whole in the United States, especially if they start canceling contracts with the amount of freight that these individuals have been moving as of recent. You know, it could legitimately start putting bigger and bigger companies out of business. This isn't a situation of where uh, you're going to have a bunch of uh, like jobs kind of like disappear and be recreated elsewhere. This is more along the lines of where you're going to have a company that's going to downsize the size of the industry and they're going to steal enough freight off of people and enough money that, you know, I mean, companies like Swift Knight where, you know, Swift like bought Knight they're in debt by buying night and you end up standing here with that like situation where we are with the retail problem where whole companies are just going to collapse and jobs are just going to disappear altogether and you know well what the freight where the freight has to move like yeah they're going to end up combining it you know and it's going to end up just crashing down like swift kind of runs off the fleet of his pants with a whole lot of money and i mean in debt just you know i mean sitting out in the stock market so We'll see what happens. You know, I mean, I actually had a chance to talk to my managers about this last night. Like, you don't got to worry about it with us. Like, you got to worry about it with everybody. Especially, you know, I mean, like what's happened with Celadon, you know, I mean, last week. You know, this is a problem that's coming. You know, I mean, with the retail apocalypse happening, are happening. And then now you have, you know, I mean, the trucking companies are going down. You know, I mean, this could sign, you know, I mean, the death nail for the U.S., you know, I mean, economy as far as stuff's concerned. So we'll see what happens. You know, I mean, I wanted to bring you this story. You know the deal, man. Like, share, and subscribe. Come back for more content. I'll be around. Later. Peace.